E.T. Aliens and the Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil. And we're talking about Adam and Eve expulsion from paradise. Man, for the first moment, he left the need to imprint on rocks, caves, valleys, mountains, and objects, his images and thoughts, petroglyphs, hieroglyphs from his contact, and daily life with beings beyond his own power, which, as testifying, hundreds of elements were daily and were characterized by tremendous changes for then human element. So from that moment on, he never stopped looking for these things, which out of fear, out of necessity, or out of respect, he had named gods. But what made these beings so suddenly leave man and the earth and stop the direct contact and coexistence they had with then human element? Do they turn the planets and after giving, do they go around the planets discovering and after giving knowledge and technology to beings like us then disappear? This is, of course, a, along with a, a lot of legends and mythology, even the Native American Indians concerning the Anu, very similar sounding name to the Anunnaki. Um, so they disappear so that to take things their own way, humans can see how far uh, they can go and uh, the uh, ancient aliens can see how far their quote-unquote students are able to go watching their work without becoming visible. Now, are we, for these beings, the earth an experimental laboratory and man a mere experimental animal in which laboratory and experimental animal realize that they do not want to do them to do that to themselves reaping the results of any experiments for their own benefit anyone could say the and express dozens of uh, ideas about the situation and the question is which of these will eventually end up becoming the great and uh, coveted truth and we all know now that in the religious world, hundreds and uh, legends of stories and put the brake on the dream of every human being, that at some point uh, they'll meet beings from other planets, the uh, what uh, mythology and legends called the gods from the skies, and uh, their creators, such a special inviolate rule that apart from us here on earth there is no one, and that God created the vast universe only for man on earth, who at the same time is a child of the creator himself. Now, without absolute technological and scientific mastery, for many centuries now, people of all powers have been hiding and falsifying elements left behind by different cultures, wanting to continue their own search, which had almost reached the solution of the riddle, making to see and calculate with the naked eye only things that we, with the most modern telescopes and most advanced satellites, are impossible to locate and even more to understand. So it's not at least strange and worthy of research that on the one hand there were civilizations which were meager means achieved spiritual scientific miracles and suddenly on the other hand we their followers found ourselves with bats and swords in our hands uh, going against each other and only to prove that our God is better than the God of the other with the result not only that we lose touch with our ancestors and that they left us, but then we go back in time, that is where man is still living caves on, in caves and on trees. Now, almost all people on the planet know that God created Adam and Eve in his image and likeness in order to reap and manage the earthly paradise on earth, living in absolute peace and harmony with the sole condition of not seeking the tree of knowledge of good and evil and how much more to eat from its fruit. So uh, there was the uh, law of fasting, you had to, they had to fast from uh, this tree, only this tree. They could eat everything else. But no one cared to teach us that Adam and Eve may have been the primitive humans who came into contact with higher beings and after learning language, writing art, thought, etc. from them, then opposed these beings by asking the absolute knowledge that they possessed, as a result of which they clashed with the then called gods and the peace and tranquility of their life became a hell on earth. Unfortunately, as long as some people do not want to lose their power over man, and as long as conditions for a proper and unhindered search do not allow it, a man will continue to depend on his personal spiritual um, uh, crutches, which some they will gladly continue to give it to him. Now, whether they have been or continue to be extraterrestrial beings, this is a sacred personal research for each person and each soul individually that that this soul driven by primordial source of logic 
knowledge and evolution continues its search to find the sacred uh, chalice. So in closing the article, the writer says, I would like to ask a question. Will we at some point learn the great truth before our catastrophe or, we, or we, will we learn it at the time of our catastrophe? I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.